Hello guys, as always I am Gamer King and this is the 8th mission of GTA 5 so please show some support by giving like, share, comment and subscribe. So hello guys, start our, we start our new mission with new journey. So first of all we have to go to this location. This could be Michael's house. So let's start. Doc, hey. Michael, well, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. You entitled piece of shit! That's the Michael Damn it. God, damn it. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? Because I keep hearing a mad for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you. What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well... Nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Hey, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine. Fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Fuck me. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Ugh! You'd even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities? When yours are so unbelievably fuck-based. Now, push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your phone. Borrow? You were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right, they fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. But I didn't expect or want them to get killed. You think I'm going to let some guys ride off with my son? Look, I knew you were a bad guy, but... Oh, a bad guy. A crook, a killer, a thief, a liar. I guess I've been all those things one time or another, right? It's just... What? I always thought I was the good guy. God help the morally bankrupt man. You're driving like a psychopath, Michael. Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You entitled piece of shit! You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human being. No, not unless they're a spick, or a Jew boy, or an ass munching homo. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone down in the street? Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hello? Yeah. Hey, you. Two bikes. Take your pick. This one'll do. No, I need to. No, thanks. If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV. End of the pier? All right. But if I beat you, you're going to behave like a human being. Give it up, Dad.
to be so much, bury yourself down here. Don't give up, even though you're losing. Huh? Yeah, I know. I'd never bite with the man who marked my flat screen. Come on, Jim. Keep pushing. This hurts so, so much, but I don't care. All that smack talk ain't gonna put me off my stride. I'm not gonna be able to stop this thing. Now, let me think. What am I gonna do with all that spare TV money? This is your TV cycling off into the distance. The boardwalk ain't big enough for the both of us. Hey, Jim, I don't need it. We're both gonna be big. Hey, man. What the fuck? Here it is. We should go to the bank. Hey, don't they have fitness video games you can play now? What you thinking? All the way to the end. Come on, old man. You and I first, old man. Right after you buy the TV. Try and take me then. Hey, we didn't discuss how big that TV would be, did we? How's 20 inches sound? Careful, Jim. Don't give yourself a hernia. I'm being hypnotized by your wings flapping. Uh, uh, that's it. Uh, number one, pal. You owe me a TV. Hey, I never agreed to that. <laughs> no, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, well, I'm giving it my best shot. Hey, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford, so the thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you're probably here, isn't it? Ah, Dad, wait! Shit, Dad, don't go. Oh. No. <gasps> Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you got a killer pad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls could talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. Dude, what are you doing? Oh, oh, hey! Oh, oh, man! Come. I like that! What's the problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Talk to the seat of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfucker! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Take a deep breath, baby. It's okay. I'm taking you back to your brother. I'm an accessory to murder. No, you're not. You're an accessory to self-defense. Have I, like, got to be a witness because I, I, like, did some blow? You did blow? Yeah, I did some blow, and that might, like, make my testimony inadmissible. You're not admissing anything. There won't be a trial unless you're on a trial for doing blow. <laughs> 